Hi everybody, it is the end of March and so it is time to do my Q1 quarterly assessment for my Moxie Life Planner. I also decided I'm just going to take care of my April goals in this same sitting as well as potentially really altering my yearly goals and maybe even my word of the year. So let me talk about it. This quarter has been intense. I knew going into it, it was going to be intense. For those of you who haven't been following along, I am in kidney failure. And as of the start of January, we went into training my husband and I to do at home hemodialysis. We trained for a month. We came home in, I think we trained for five weeks. We came home in the beginning of February, started training, um, started doing it then. And now I've been doing it five days a week since then. And it has been a fucking rocky ass roller coaster. When I set my goals at the start of the year, I had dialysis first and foremost in my mind, but what I thought was going to happen, how I thought things were going to feel and go, it, it couldn't compare to the reality. So because I am now deep in the reality, part of me thinks I need to go and make some adjustments and I probably will. Before I do those things, I'm going to do my quarterly assessments. This is my Moxie Life Vertical Flagship Planner. I'm going to use a Pentel Energel 07 needle tip because I find that even though I love using felt tip pens in this planner, just because I like how they look, when it comes to a lot of writing and a lot of thinking, this pen just does a lot better for me. So that's what I'm going to use. And then here is the quarterly compass assessment for the first quarter. One thing it does not give you, it just gives you this page, but it doesn't give you all the questions. So I go to the Moxie Life printable library, which is free. You can just go onto the website and access it that way. And it has the compass assessment in there. And I just go and I print pages four and five, which are the assessment scoring questions from the start of the planner. I do this because just giving myself a number doesn't feel as, I mean, it's all subjective, right? But it doesn't feel as accurate when I don't have the questions kind of backing it up. And so what I do is I do the questions, I write down the numbers, and then I compare both the numbers and kind of the questions to the previous assessment, and then I hang on to them for the whole year. This is how I did it last year, and I found it to be much more helpful than just filling the assessment out. So once I'm done with that, we'll go over the current scores. And then once I've gone over that, it'll we'll go to the annual goals, take a look at them, see what they feel like, see if I want to swap any of them, and then from there, move to my April goals. When I do these scoring, I also, when I take the average, I do write down the decimal place, but I round down with all of it. That's how I just do it because it just makes sure that I'm always kind of um, doing the same thing. So, but I do like to see the um, decimal point average because it helps me really see if there's like a small change. All right, so we're gonna start with personal. The score I gave myself currently is an eight. What I'm gonna do is take the Moxie markers and I'm going to color in where I am currently. And then I'll use my pen to draw in the line of where I want to be. My previous score was, it was also an eight. I want to get to a nine and it actually did go down by 0 0.75. I think the areas that really took the hit where I generally feel happy and fulfilled and I give myself grace for my limits and expectations, both of those are directly tied to how I'm feeling about two months of dialysis and still really struggling to have like more good days than bad. And so I'm pretty sure that both of those things, that's what impacted that. So the score stayed the same, but it did go down via the question. So I'm just gonna continue to draw in this nine. I'm going to put in the eight so it stayed the same, but that is good insight to know that it did impact me in some ways. Uh, for fun and recreation, my score is an eight with the decimal being 0.38 and it, I need to put like a bookmark in here. It went up a full point from 7.38. And I wanted it to get to an eight and it's at an eight. So that's good to see. That's where I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna put the pen mark in there. So I did hit where I wanted it to go. It was seven before, it's an eight now. So that did go up. And I'm just gonna keep it at that. I just wanna maintain 
that. And I think the reason that fun and recreation kind of went up a little bit is that there is a level of joy that can come from just spending more time with my husband. I, Jess and I often were kind of like ships in the night, but now that we're doing dialysis together, I get to spend time with him every single day. Even if he's doing work and I'm doing work, we're still in the same room together. Also, since I've started to feel better, and that's the thing, like I'm feeling really down on myself right now because of how hard dialysis has been, but I can't discount how much better I'm feeling physically from it. And so it's kind of like a teeter-totter, right? I'm feeling better physically, but my mental health is kind of taking a bit of a beating right now. And there's some days where the physical health does too, but I think feeling good, better about fun and recreation has definitely been an impact. I've been able to go out for walks with Jesse and Layla more. We've been able to do more fun stuff. I've been able to eat more when Jesse and I love to go out to eat. So that's a big thing. I think that that has impacted it. So definitely uh, saw some improvement there. For work and learning, my score is a 7.5. It was a 6.5. So that one also went up, which was not what I was expecting. My goal is to get to an eight. I'm going to keep the goal the same. What really changed? I think part of it is having an action plan to support the growth and success I desire and expanding my skills. Those both went up. And I, the one that did not really change was I'm contributing to the work the way I desire. And that again, I'm still really struggling with that right now. So currently at a seven, we'll say a seven, and my goal is to get to an eight. We're going to keep that goal the same, but it did go up from a seven from a six. So up for family and relationships, I gave myself a seven, like a flat seven, and it did go down slightly from a 7.13. The changes were really not that drastic. It was just slight ups and downs. So I don't anticipate needing to change much of it. Like it's just I'm, I kind of have been trying to do more, but like it's been sort of on the back burner for this last quarter because a lot of like doing extra things like going out for dinner or lunches or things with people that aren't Jesse, even with my kids has been a little harder because of the schedule with dialysis. So working on that. I'm going to use this as a bookmark. <laughs> so my goal to, is to get to an eight. And again, I'm going to keep it there. Purple is really bleeding through today. Ugh. Okay, I don't really use this note page, so I'm not too worried about it. Health and wellness. I was actually really curious to see how this one turned out because it's funny, like in some ways my health has gotten better because of dialysis. In other ways, my health has gotten worse because of dialysis. <laughs> it's hard to know. So I got a 6.5 and it went up from a 5.75. So not a full point, but pretty close. The biggest change and this I think I can lay square at the feet of dialysis is I feel strong in body heart and mind and I'm equipped to handle life's events with strength and vitality those went from a two to an eight and a two to a five respectively the last quarter of last year I was in fucking kidney failure so I was absolutely miserable you know I was in bed probably a good 15 hours a day I was always nauseated I wasn't eating I couldn't remember shit and I'm still dealing with some symptoms of kidney failure, but the level of brain fog that is cleared and my, just some of you have even told me that you have noticed in my videos that I am just, I'm, you can tell that I'm feeling a little bit better. So a lot of that. So I want to bring it to a seven and I think that's a reasonable goal for right now. The reason for that is dialysis. Now, on the other hand, the regular exercise routine went down significantly. And that was because when I was on before dialysis, I was still getting out every day at least once, if not twice a day to walk Layla because we had to walk her. Well, she's in daycare right now because of dialysis. And because I'm on dialysis, after the fact, I we like because she's in daycare, we don't take her for as many walks anymore. She gets all of her exercise and stimulate, like not all of it, but a lot of it at daycare. Uh, what I want to do is get back on the Peloton. So now I'm starting to do that again, but um, I need to build this one back up. Spiritual and personal growth. I gave myself a seven, 7.1. And I had before I had a six. And I think the reason for this one going up is just purely because I've come to terms with the fact that I am really, I feel really strong in my values. However, I still haven't been able to really connect with spiritual community. And I don't think I'm going to be prioritizing that for the next while, just because it's adding too much stress for what I'm going to get out of it because of my schedule being so wonky and my time is so limited right now that I just 
I'm struggling really hard to make time for grocery shopping, let alone going to church. So I am going to put in that I got a seven when I wanted to bring it to an eight. I think I'm going to resign myself to online church and from now, which is not like, it's not the sermons that I want. I want the community and doing it online with the church nearby is not going to get me the same kind of community that I'm really craving as doing it online. So I think this goal I'm still giving myself that I want to get to an eight, but I think it's going to get shelved for a while just for my own mental health. Uh, for financial, I gave myself a 6.6 .6 and I current, and I had a 6.38 before. So it got a little bit better, but still not, it basically stayed the same. Big piece of this is that with all of the medical bills and everything else coming in right now and trying to get Medicare set up, our financial life is a little in shambles right now. So hopefully we'll see some, some, some movement on that, but I'm going to keep it as an eight with my, my goal. And then finally, physical environment, 8.87. I had 9.13. So it did go down, but it's barely like, I don't feel bad that it went down. Uh, I don't, why did it go down? Oh, I think I gave myself like one less 10, like a couple things went down by one, whatever. I'm not feeling bad about that, even though it went from an eight to a nine, from a nine to an eight. So it did go down, but I, again, I'm not feeling awful about that. I'm feeling really good about where my house is. It's just bits and pieces that I'm feeling a little wonky about, I think. And I have my goal for a 10. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get there this year. Ooh, sorry for the yawn. Woo. Just got so close to keeping everything in the same format and then I fucked it up. At least it's on the gray. <laughs> All right. Now let's do the questions. Overall, my scores increased. What personal actions can, well, it's dialysis. <laughs> it's basically the answer is dialysis. <laughs> Three words to, to describe how I generally felt over the last 90 days. Impatient, better, and annoyed. Where's my biggest opportunity for growth? What area of life will be my next focus over the next 90 days? My biggest area for growth, according to this, is my physical environment or financial because they're both the ones that have more space to go, but that doesn't actually feel accurate when I think about it, right? Like my physical environment. Yeah. I could get two more to get to where I want to go at the end of this year, but at the end of this year, I want to be at a 10, which is higher. Like my physical group, my physical environment is still at the top of my categories right now. So honestly, no, that's not my biggest area for growth. Financial is probably financial and health and wellness are my two areas for growth. And I think those are both physical and mental health and uh, financial wellness when it comes to our day-to-day -day and financial wellness when it comes to long-term. So I'm going to just say health and finance. So that's what we're going to look at for this next. So that's my quarterly compass assessment. Overall, results are better than I thought they would be. Let's go to the goals because I want to talk about if I'm going to reframe any of these. So we're going to say personal here is per oh, this is January. Whoops. For personal, I wanted to maintain and develop routines. And I think this is actually something I'm going to keep the way it is. I feel good about my Moxie Life routines, which were my one of my top focuses for this past quarter. My morning routine is actually pretty set. Now a non-dialysis version is a little bit looser, but I'm okay playing it fast and loose because sometimes the non-dialysis days change and also sometimes I just need to feel like I can just sleep in on a Saturday. Evening ritual and weekly routines are going to be two big focuses for this month because I th or for this quarter because the evening ritual is fairly close but not there and weekly routines is something I have been massively struggling with this past quarter like really hard because dialysis has been so hard we've had so many down days and from everything I've been told from the from the uh nurses at the center, the social worker and the advocates to the people that I talk to in the home hemo groups that I'm in is that the first three or four months are really rough. So don't be hard on yourself. That is something I'm struggling really. That's a lot that I'm struggling with. My therapist and I are working on patience right now, which is what I'm thinking of changing my word of the year to. <laughs> um, so definitely these two. So uh, second quarter, we're going to focus on the evening routine and the weekly routines, plants, grocery store, etc. So we're going to head right to April, I think right now, and just put that in here. So focus for the month of April is to really nail in my evening ritual. The actions I've got here are to brainstorm ideas for it, 
uh, figure out my alarm clock situation and decide how dialysis prep is going to fit into it because I do need to do some of that the night before. Then on top of that, I have some other items that are under personal that are not really tied to the focus. And that's doing my one little word, taking care of my plants, maintaining my moxie life habits and repotting my plants this next month. I highlighted both plants and moxie life to go onto my daily habit trackers. Back to fun and recreation. So the focus was for this year to maintain taking time off for rest and fun. I want to walk the entire Denver multi-use trail system with Jess and, Jess and Layla, which we have made some, but not a lot of progress on. And then to continue visiting museums, taking Fridays and Saturdays off, monthly free three-day weekends, and scheduled weeks off. So I'm going to make some adaptions to this based on the way dialysis has been going. For one, I'm going to cross off taking Fridays and Saturdays off. I'm going to change that into taking two days off weekly because it's at a point right now where I can't predict what day, like this week I wound up having to spend all of Monday running errands and catching up because of how crappy I had felt on other days, which meant I couldn't work on Monday, which means I'm going to have to do some work on Friday. And I'm okay with that. I'm trying to, so instead I just want to make sure that I take at least two days off per week. So I'm going to fix that one for the, for the, for the monthly, for the yearly goal. And then I'm going to keep monthly three day weekends, but I'm actually going to change that to monthly Sundays off again for the same reason. I might not get a three day weekend, but I can still take a Sunday off and then scheduled weeks off. Haven't done that yet. Well, sort of. I did schedule time off during dialysis training, so maybe that counted. So we're going to keep that in here for now. But I think other than that, this actually still is fairly accurate as well. So going to April, my focus is going to be to get comfortable with an, a flexible schedule because I'm not a very flexible person. So it's going to take a little, it's going to take a little getting used to. And I've got just two days on the trail with Jess and Layla, Sunday off, and then two days off weekly. So we'll see if reframing it can help me a little bit with my um, rigidity when it comes to certain things. Back to the annual goals. Work and learning, develop my skills in both art and business. I did complete the art within. So that's done. And then use and follow through on HB90 all year. That's also been going. I'm I'm fine with this work and learning goal. And I'm working on making art work this month. So that's what's going to get moved over to work and learning. This is just, this is basically like going very well. So my focus is going to be starting making art work. I've got basically a module per week. I'm also tracking this via my HB90 tracking. And so I've kind of got it mapped out so far. It's going to go on my daily habits though. And then for HB90, just doing my weekly check-ins, my monthly review, and then my quarter one review, which because the quarter for HB90 actually starts on the third. All right, family and relationships, maintain and improve my quality time with my guys. So date nights with Jesse twice monthly. We've been on top of that. Lunches sometimes too, for this past quarter, especially because of going to lunch after dialysis. But because I've been feeling better, we have gotten out on some dates more often than not. So that's exciting. Um... Getting together with friends one time quarterly. We didn't do that this quarter. It, we just didn't have time. But we already are getting together with friends right after this, like in the second week of April. So that's cool. Uh, coffee dates with friends one time monthly. I have not really been doing that, but I have started doing that. So I'm feeling pretty good about maybe starting to get back to that now that I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Day with kids individually one time monthly. Again, first in January, that was really hard, but I'm starting to pick back up on that. We have not figured out where we're going on our 10 year anniversary trip yet, but we have added C family this year is going to go on to this. I didn't think that was going to be possible with dialysis, but it's looking more and more like a possibility. So planning that is likely going to happen in this next quarter. Oh, different color purple. Whatever. Where's the other purple? Speaking of the color purple, I'd love to go see that here in Denver right now. I just don't know if we have the spare funds. Okay, so let's work on my April goals then for family and relationships. The focus is to start summer planning. The reason I have this on family and relationships instead of on uh, fun and recreation, it's going to move to fun and recreation once 
we have gotten it figured out, but until then, it's still many conversations with our family. So this summer, figuring out if we're going to travel to see family or family's going to travel to see us, and deciding on what the kids are going to do, because the kids, look it looks like they're going to be with us the majority of the summer, so we may send them to my sister for part of that. Um, we have people coming over for dinner. I have dinner with my uncle in town, and then I just got all these dates, right? D dates with Jesse, individual lunch dates with the kids going to see friends, which is actually on the calendar for the first. So it should already have happened at this point. And then calling my sisters once a week. I also added the Muse concert to fun and recreation because fuck yeah. Okay, annual goals. Incorporate dialysis into our lives smoothly. So attend and graduate from training. We did that this quarter. Develop a regular dialyzing routine. We've pretty much done that as well. Attend therapy each week. I'm actually going to every other week right now. Mostly because... If I try to fit it in every week with my already truncated time, I get more stressed out than what the therapy is helping me with. Resume re regular Peloton writing. This is definitely going to be a focus for this quarter. And then follow dialysis diet. So, so far, I actually don't really have a dialysis diet except for watching my sodium and increasing my potassium in my food. Currently, the biggest changes I've had to make is adding a fucking renal multivitamin because dialysis depletes a lot of your uh, nutrient, like minerals and shit. Currently, I don't have any other restrictions. I don't knock on wood. I don't have fluid restrictions or anything. So, so far, I'm just going to leave that alone, but I am going to clinic visits every month. So that might change. Scheduling one-on-one -on -one time with Jesse away from dialysis. That's definitely something we're going to need to work on, but probably this summer. So we're going to really focus on movement, I think, this quarter. For April, I want to focus on movement. And so my two habits, going outside and water, drinking water, are still on there. It's not with water that I'm trying to drink a certain amount. I'm just trying to keep drinking water. Since starting dialysis, my thirst has gone down quite a bit. But when I am drinking, it's a lot of the times it's something that's not water. So I'm trying to remember to drink water. Um, it's weird. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, and then I'm adding another habit, which is using my Apple Watch every day. What I want to do is track my steps on a daily basis, not trying to get a certain number, but just seeing where I'm at because I already did not have a shit ton because I work at a computer all day. But also now that I'm not walking Layla daily and I'm in a chair for four hours a day, I know my steps have gone down. So before I try and set a goal, I want to know where I'm starting from. So I'm going to do Apple Watch. And then I think maybe to add to this, I'm going to track my steps on my monthly calendar just so I can see them. I'm not using it for anything else right now anyway. So <laughs> this will work. Um, I already wrote that on there. Track steps. I'm so, I'm fucking on monthly. Okay, we'll just scribble you out because I already <laughs> wrote that down. Who said I still didn't have kidney brain fog? Um, and then I want to ride the Peloton weekly and meal plan weekly. So I've got little weekly boxes to check off there. So spiritual and personal fucking growth is to join, the focus is to join the church and develop a weekly routine and attend the service when the minister is preaching I'm going to leave all of that for right now, but I'm going to shelve it. So we're not doing anything for spiritual. The only thing I want to do for spiritual and personal growth is something that my therapist actually recommended. And that is to practice, do a uh, meditation daily, even if it's just for a minute. Meditation. And then gratitude practice. So I'm going to put that the... Meditation is going to be a daily habit because my therapist really wants me to work on that because I really need to work on patience right now. And then gratitude practice is not going to be a daily habit because I'm not really sure what I want that to look like. But by the end of April, I would like to have established that. Maybe that can be part of my nighttime routine, my evening ritual. So maybe I'll put that here, evening ritual. But I'm going to shelve the church part right now because it's just not, it's too much stress. It's like trying to do therapy one time a week. All right. Financial. Back to the annual goals. All right. Dial in our finances for security. Pay off our debt. No by year. The, month, the no by year has been going really well so far. I still have to do the monthly check-in for March. Budget meetings have not been happening. And we definitely need to do that. So for April... My, 
my big focus for April is taxes. We're actually filing them on the first. No, that's not right. This weekend, I think is maybe that is the first. That's when we want to file them. File our taxes, continue my no buy, and then have a big budget meeting with Jesse to sit down and figure some shit out. So that's something we've been meaning to do, but dialysis is kind of taking precedence. We had talked about maybe doing it while I was on dialysis, but anytime we start having those kinds of conversations while I'm on dialysis, my blood pressure starts to spike and we check it every half an hour and we have to record it. It doesn't seem like a good idea, at least right now. And then finally, physical environment. Monthly home, maintain and continue to have improve our home, monthly home projects. I want to plan out my green stock stuff this quarter. I think this is all basically the same as it was. These are all specific things, but also just working on projects at home. I've been doing that. Uh, we have art on the walls. There's still some a few more things we need to do, but we're really working on it. Okay, so for physical environment, I decided my project for this month is going to be to organize the linen closets because I really want to get that done before... Uh, we start really working on outside stuff and May is when that's going to kick in. Um, so I've got the laundry room, like cupboards, and then I've got RJ and Sunny closets. It's not their closets. It, there's The way our house is set up, we have two really skinny linen closets outside of each of their bedrooms. And I want to get those organized. And then I also need to plan my green stock for planting in May. And then there's also one other thing I wanted to change when I was on here. I realized I don't need to put Moxie Life on here as a habit anymore. I do want to put it on here. I don't need to check it off every day because I'm already doing that every day. I've established that as a habit. But what I want to add is an evening ritual habit. So once I start working on it, I want to incorporate that. Like I have that in my habits. So it may not be in my habits the first week while I do some of these other things but it will be in my habits after the fact. And that would be seven habits total. So evening ritual, plants, um, making artwork, go outside, water, Apple Watch, and wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. I'm gonna combine it with, no, that's not gonna work either. Shit. Too many fucking habits. Um, I'm gonna take the water off of here because I don't need to check it off every day. Most days I get it. Okay, that's seven. <laughs> Evening ritual plants, making artwork, going outside, Apple Watch, meditation, and no buy. There we go. This is a fucking hot mess, but whatever. So these are my April, oh, I guess the other thing I want to talk about was my one little word, which is continue. And I don't know if I should change it to patience or not. I feel like this patience thing is not going to be a whole year process. I came into this expecting to redo my goals, but going through my goals, I'm like, no, I don't need to redo them. I just need to decide what I'm focusing on for this quarter. So I don't really feel like I need to change my word of the year. I think I'm just feeling itchy because continuing is fucking boring, but that's kind of what I want. So maybe I just need to like reorient myself. I don't know. Let me know if you want to hear more about this because I don't want to just go on a ramble about it since I'm really not sure what I feel. But currently here are my April goals. Here are my annual goals. And I am really set for the next month and the next quarter, I think. But just let me know. Like, let me know what you uh, think in the comments. How are you feeling right now at the end of this quarter? Normally, sometimes I'm feeling itchy to change planners. I don't want to change planners. I just want to change plans. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm... I'm deep in like this land of I'm starting to feel better but like mentally my life feels like it's in shambles and I'm just I'm, I'm all over the place I'm all over the place my guys anyway let me know in the comments below aside from what you're thinking of everything I talked about in this video how are you doing after this first quarter do you have things that you want to add or things you want to take away let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and until next time friends peace